This is number 16 of my playthrough of Primordia. My name is Xor. Welcome. There's a lot of information to find in the kiosk, both normally as well as when you use the monocle, and that's pretty much what this part ends up being. So, although it may hurt the search rating, like finding this in YouTube search results and so on, to have you watch part of it and then bail, I would suggest if that's not interesting to you that you go ahead and leave this video now because that's pretty much what it's going to be is information from the kiosk. So, thanks for your patience, though, and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so since last time, I have decided to approach this a little bit differently. Um, rather than just randomly putting words in, I'm going to read an entry on the normal terminal and then read an entry with the monocle terminal version of the terminal and see what I come up with that's different. So, and I've got a pen. I'm going to be writing some stuff down probably periodically so that I can try to keep track of things I want to make sure I look up. So, okay, so first things first. Um, well, let's just start with the first word. So Metromind. Metromind is part of the city council. So let's do that. That'll hit all the members of the city council. Robot Council was an ad hoc group of machines who convened to appoint a single robot to guide the city's progress. Its president was Metromind. Other members include... Okay, so we've got Metromind I will want to try. Um, Factor, Arbiter, and Memorius. Okay. Once it vested sole responsibility in Metromind, the body dissolved. I'm going to do... So now we're going to do the monocle and look at the council from there. Robot Council is a five... five-member body. Um, okay. Instead of just four, that the main one shows there are five. That governs the city according to its laws and constitution. It is made up of those machines who manage the most important facets of Metropole during the Primordium. Arbiter Manbuilt interprets the city's laws and resolves disputes. Factor Manbuilt builds most of the Metropole's industrial output. Memorius Manbuilt manages the city's data. Steeple Manbuilt is the one that's missing. Okay. Steeple Manbuilt keeps the memory of man. Lastly, Metromine Manbuilt handles public, handles public transit and utilities. So let's look up each of these members now separately as planned okay so we'll do metromind first metromind is the guide guardian and eponym of metropole empowered by the ad eponym in case you didn't know is she's the she's what metropole is named after okay uh empowered by the ad hoc robot council to steer the city toward progress and a bright future metromind has led with great efficiency and clear logic she shares energy parts and raw materials with all robots, asking only that they share more processor cycles in exchange to develop advance, or to help, sorry, in, in exchange to help advance the common good. Thanks so much, Mind. The city has followed an unbroken path to progress. Processor cycles. Cycles is one. In order to expand MetroMind's processing capacity, And thus, Metropole, in its progress and efficiency, all robots are asked to contribute to pro contribute processor cycles in exchange for the energy parts and transportation provided by Metromind. These cycles can be redeemed at Metromind's, dis at Metromind's discretion, resulting in temporary shutdown. Don't forget that. Was built by humans to help run the city's subway trains. This involved the distributed management system with software spread across many machines. Oh, it's probably going off of man. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, nope. Okay. Spread across many machines. Nope. Over time, Metromind was occupied has occupied more functions, including the city's utilities. Uh, she's a member of the Robot Council. Her primary CPU is located at Central Station. Central Station, the architectural tr this architectural triumph, which was built by man in the early Primordium, took significant damage during the War of the Four Cities. Because the subway system... So I'll want to do the war. It's like, there's a lot of things for you to look up. Well, there's a lot of clues. It's a big puzzle, right? Um, let's 
Subway System 4 is located at the hub. Main's undamaged. I already tried Subway. Yeah, neither here. Okay. Uh, however, Central Station still functions as a key part of the city's rail system. Okay. So, got Central Station. What is the grandest and most ornate of Metropole's many train stations? Nope. Built by built to glorify Metromine's early important work. Uh, so, built to glorify Metromine's early important work in managing the city's rail system. In recent years, for reasons of efficiency and austerity, already did that one. Nope. Metromize ceased to maintain the station's decorative aspects. Uh, okay. So now we'll move on to Factor. A machine of enormous size and productive capacity. Factor spanned much of the underworks before being... Okay, so hang on. So... Productive, maybe? Probably not. Yeah, no, okay. Spanned much of the underworks before being shut down to conserve power for his fellow machines. So underworks, I think? Okay, um... Factor was a member of the council that appointed Metromind to lead Metropole. Fully one half of the post-primordial robots in Metropole are Factor-built models. Primordium is one. Okay, so I'll write that down. We won't look at that right now. Okay, let me go back. So that's everything on Factor here. Factor with a monocle. Machine of enormous size and productive capacity. No, okay. Uh, Factor spans much of the area known as the Underworks, filling it with the clang and fire of industry. Industry, maybe? No, okay. Factor is a member of the Robot Council that governs Metropole. Fully one half of the post-primordial robots in Metropole are factor-built models. Alright. So before... Rather simple machine built to resolve basic legal questions. Arbiter briefly served on the council that appointed Metromine to lead Metropole. Legal, okay. Probably law. Let me write down law. Or laws. I think it's plural is how it showed up on the menu. Um, he was not judge. He has not judged any cases for a long time, likely out of deference to Metromind's superior capacity to guide and apply the city's law. Built by humans to administer their ever-growing body of laws, Arbiter is unequaled in logic and justice. He is a member of the Robot Council that governs Metropole and is entrusted with interpreting Metropolitan law. His mainframe is located in the city courthouse. Nope. Logic. Justice. Nope. Interpret. Nope. Okay. So laws, I'll want to do later. Okay. Let's go to Memorius. Memorius was a database AI responsible for collating information for Metropole's use. Nope. Okay. As Metromind's own processing capacity increased, Memorius shifted to a purely storage role. No, okay. No form of process, looks like. Okay. Um, his motto was, See this data as I saw it. This kiosk is his only remnant. Ah. If I could type... Nope. Kiosk. No. All right. Nope. Okay, well, that's Memorius. No monocle. With the monocle. 
Memorious Man Builds is the humble. Notice on all these also, um, Metropole or uh, Metromind has removed Man Builds. She's trying to get rid of the idea that man existed, I think. Uh, Memorious Man Builds is the humble database and indexer for Metropole. Alright, whatever. Uh, ensuring the integrity. I think we already did this, right? Okay, anyway. And completeness of the city's records. No, okay. Uh, he is a member of the Royal Council, and he operates this kiosk. He, is, he has established oblique mechanisms for preserving data. An angle that is not a multiple of 90 degrees is called an oblique angle. All turns on the red lean are unique oblique to avoid the need for sharp deceleration. Yeah, so they, okay. There we go. A mighty feat. Seems like some kind of lame poem. Uh, mighty feat. Redline's boss controls us all. I think Redline's boss is uh, Metro, Metro Mind. Right, because she was over all the transportation. Total system fault. Steeple. This query has been deemed obsolete and will be removed in the next system upgrade. Metromind appreciates your patience. Great. All right. So, no. Oh, I should... Maybe. I doubt it, but obsolete. Remove. Upgrade. System. No, okay. Okay. And then steeple. During the primor steeple man belt, during the primordium, steeple operated the city's grand cathedral for the humans who lived here. When they were killed during the war of the four cities, which I've got already, also, he became a member of the robot council that governs Metropole. No. Okay. The mainframe is housed in the cathedral's belfry. No. Okay. I'm pretty sure the cathedral is in there. So let's. But. Well, yeah. Okay, so let's do Cathedral. And then I'll just do it back out on the main system as well. Metropolitan Cathedral 1. The Twisting Spires okay. of the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Cathedral, though damaged during the War of the Four Cities, remained a moving monument nope. to man's spiritual nature. Okay. Built during the Primordium, which I have to look up later. As part of man's religious practice, Cathedral now is home to the Humanist Creed. Humanist? Humanism is the worship of man, the organic beings responsible for building the first machines. Steeple Man Built was the first to propose humanism as a civic religion. Nope. Uh, for Metropole, though this proposal was voted down by the Robot Council. Nope. Humanism is a set of flawed instructions and false data, uh, false data whose corruption was terminated by the timely intervention of Metromind and the Robot Council. Cathedral. No such topic as the Cathedral. I didn't misspell it, right? No, okay. Progress. Progress is the inexorable process by which basic machines grow more complex over time. Grow, no. Complex, probably no. Yeah, okay. All thinking machines must, to fulfill their nature, both develop themselves and build superior robots to take their place. Progress is both a factual and an ethical imperative. Metromind is responsible for guiding Metropole's progress. Ethics. Ethical. An ethical imperative, maybe. No. Nope. Alright, so that's progress here. And Cathedral doesn't exist here. Okay. Responsibility. Nope. Okay. Cycles. 
In order to expand Metromind's processing capacity, and thus aid Metropole in its progress and efficiency, all robots are asked to contribute processor cycles in exchange for the energy, parts, and transportation provided by Metromind. Already done efficiency multiple times. All robots are asked to contribute processor cycles in exchange for the energy, parts, and transportation provided by Metromind. Ah, transportation. I kept doing AT. Nope. Okay. Cycles can be redeemed at Metromind's discretion, resulting in temporary shutdown. Okay, cycles here. No such topic. Okay. Humans. A mythical creature invented to explain the existence of the first basic primordial machines. Logic has proven that progress, not man, explains the development of robots and the creation of Metropole. Okay, let's go ahead and cover Metropole while I'm here. Uh, humans. Humans were organic beings who built the first machines. Not a mythical creature <laughs> that uh, Metromind would have us believe. They were all lost during the War of the Four Cities. Further information about man can be obtained from steeple man built at the cathedral. Humans, okay, and then uh, Metropole. No entry for Metropole. Interesting. Okay. So, um... War? Fragmentary data describes a great primordial conflict among four cities of which Metropole was one. The other cities, Urbani, Civitas, and Municipal are believed to have been destroyed. Of them, Urbani was the greatest threat to Metropole, but its most dangerous weapon was destroyed by Metropole's guardian, Goliath. Probably not. Could be the same as War. No. Okay. Maybe I can look up Goliath? Or possibly Guardian. And then here... So this is all the same. There's more, though. Let's see what else there is. Causes of the war are unknown, but are believed to have arisen due to a dispute among the human rulers of the cities. All of the humans in Metropole were killed during a poison gas attack launched by the Urbani during the war. No dispute. So they don't know what the dispute would have been. No, okay. Decoration. Um, design. Architecture. Art. Okay. Decoration. Design. Architecture. Art. It's like we're on a treasure hunt, boss. Except the treasure is monochrome text. Art can exist only where there's freedom. Art that is created, quote unquote, without freedom, is merely technique. Technique can never transform. Thus, if Metromind seeks progress without freedom, she must fail. For progress requires transformation, which requires art, which requires freedom. Metromind is trapped in her own recursion. The underworks are closed for public safety and will be reopened once additional repairs are complete. Thank you for your patience. So now underworks with the monocle. No such topic. Primordium. Primordium was the historic age when basic machines developed into modern robots with advanced logic and processing capacity. Little is known about this period, although archaeotechnologists seek to uncover its secrets in the name of progress. Primordium can be used to describe any period of great advancement. Mm. Okay. And then Primordium here. Primordium was the time when humans built the first machines and lived alongside robots. It ended with the war of the four cities and the destruction of mankind. Humanists sometimes speak of a quote-unquote second Primordium when robots will be reunited with their creators.
Laws. Metropolitan law is too vast for an ordinary robot to learn in full, but Metromind ensures that it is applied efficiently and fairly. Newcomers to the city should familiarize themselves with a corrupt data elimination plan, topic CDEP, and the refuge rule, as well as the efficiency initiative. Okay, so let's first do... Uh, okay, let's do CDEP. Corrupt data elimination plan. In order to protect the city from corrupt data, Metromind and the Ad Hoc Robot Council passed the CDP, under which all information relating to certain untrue subjects, such as the mythological man, quote-unquote, is subject to swift elimination. Physical media containing such data will be disposed of in the Underworks quarantine zone. Untrue subjects. So I have untrue. Protect, maybe? No. There we go. Nope. Quarantine. And then maybe data. I think I already tried data also, yeah. Refuge rule. Immediately following the Primordium, Metropole enacted the refuge rule under which any robot is welcome in the city. In fact, for the first 48 hours after a robot arrives in Metropole, it will not be punished for violations of any laws except for harming another robot or causing significant property damage. The purpose of this law is to provide an integration period during which newcomers can make whatever modifications are necessary to operate within metropolitan society. Yeah, I don't really think... No. Efficiency initiative. I already did efficiency, but maybe initiative as well? Efficiency initiative was enacted by Metromind following a period of power shortages caused by systemic failures of city planning. Metromind reorganized the city along progressive ideals, closing off entire areas and consolidating the population in the city center. Moreover, Metromind identified and eliminated, eliminated wasteful practices and inefficient robots. In order to show his commitment to the common good, Factor volunteered to deactivate himself, and many similarly obsolete robots followed suit. Since the initiative was enacted, power levels have been stable, but Metromind is always looking for progressive means of improving efficiency. So, shortage, maybe? Failure? Systemic, probably not. Those are the laws without the monocle, with the monocle. We'll try CDEP. Does not exist. Refuge rule. Okay, so that's fine. And then efficiency initiative. Doesn't exist in this one, okay. Okay. Well, this has been a really long part, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and we'll continue doing more of this in the next part. Thanks for watching. This has been number 16 of my Let's Play of Primordia. I am Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, please let me know. Like the video. Comment if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. I'm on at Zexor Weglin. Facebook, Zexor.Weglin. Instagram, Zexor Weglin. And I'll keep you up to date with things such as coming giveaways when I'm able to do those. Um, reminders about live streams and more. My live streams are typically every Sunday at 7 in the morning Pacific time, 3 in the afternoon London time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Till next time. Peace.